Hi. Hello. Howdy. Welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider 2. This time with more tomb raiding. Just kidding. It's an adequate and equivalent amount, really, of tomb raiding in this segment. Or more. Who knows? The future is untold. Just to check, I do have all the... No, 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 I don't have all the dragons. I still need the jade dragon? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to double check, because... I could have sworn for a second that we got it, but we did not. Uh, what's over here? The jade dragon's actually supposed to be nearby, isn't it? Like, I want to say it should be, like, to the left, or... Because, like, when we went into this cavern, it was on our right, and now we're... It was, like, slightly elevated. So now we should be slowly getting near the area where we can pick it up, right? Uh... What does this do for me? I feel like I could have gotten up here already. Yeah, what does this do for me? <sighs> Whatever. Let me check what Stella says, because I kind of don't even remember where I am in the guide right now. Um... Where the fuck am I? Okay, here I am. Okay, top deck again. Continue through the cave to an opening... Overlooking the deck, take a running jump to grab the cabin roof. Oh, so we, we actually give a shit about being on the roof. I would not have guessed we did. Also, goddamn the slowdown again. Oh my god. That, this is like a fucking slideshow right now. PowerPoint. But whatever. Alright, um... I guess it does matter being on here. I would have expected literally nothing to be up here, but... Maybe I've just become incurious. Who knows? Oh, don't. I'm going to take a guess that's where I needed to go. Fuck. Okay, we're fine. Did he drop anything? No, he did not. Well, I hope he goes to hell then. I was ambivalent to his fate in the afterlife, but now I hope it's eternal damnation and suffering. Anyways, uh, so yeah, this, this is definitely the right way it looks like, but to what end? Also, it is fucking dark in here. Here we go, some light. Oh, hi. I expected there to be a guy rushing at me. Oh, I hear someone. Um, automatic pistol ammo. Fuck off. Just trying to make sure I can kill this guy without him getting a shitload of damage off on me. Cool! I somehow managed that. And I got more ammo back for my trouble. I love growing competent at this game. Steadily, but not very well. Like, not very, not very quickly, but, but, you know, eventually. There's a block here. Okay. Alright, all right, sure. I, apparently, Stella says there was another uh, set of automatic pistol clips in a corner that I could have gotten. Oh, this will be a joy to edit. Maybe I just won't edit it. Maybe I'll just let my fucking confusion speak for itself. Yeah, right here. Can, can I... Lara, Lara, can you pick up the clips? Lara? Thank you. Okay, um... I guess I'll save that just so that way... I don't have to redo it. And also just so I don't forget to... Ah, whatever. Um... What does the crate do for me? Pull the wooden crate near the door, out from the wall, then to the side to reveal a switch. Oh, okay. I did... I, I was reading the guide wrong then, because I had to do this while I was looking for something. Oh, man. My literacy skills today are just fucking on fire. Throbbing. Anyways. Uh, switch... Cool, I know where that is. And I'm not saying that sarcastically like I usually do. Actually, no, I don't want to go this way. I want to go this way. 
Because it's over yonder. There we go. And uh, what is in this door? Darkness and a door. Oh, this is where we use the cabin key, isn't it? Cool. Is there going to be anything in the dark over there? I kind of doubt it, but I feel like I should check. Nothing. Oh, I see something. Oh, it is ammo for the M15 or whatever. Cool, just in case I ever need that, right, guys? <laughs> right? <laughs> whatever. Oh, shit! Right as I walked on them, I, I realized it too late, and... Uh, whatever. Well, you know what? At least, at least we had a good time. The game's over. The Let's Play is ended. We're never continuing this game, but at least we had a good time. <sighs> we are near the end of the level, at the very least, so... Yeah. Like I've said multiple times, I'm very nervous for the next set of levels, because I've heard dastardly things about them. But, you know, maybe a change of scenery will liven up the the, the mood, even though I don't want to change of scenery. <laughs> I will say, I am a little impressed at how much more content it feels like this game has than Tomb Raider 1. Not that I thought Tomb Raider 1 was necessarily light on content or anything, but compared to that game, it feels like there's a, a good, like, percentage more levels, you know? Like, I don't know. I, I, I think there was, like, what, 15 levels in Tomb Raider 1? And I think the ending tally for this is that there's 19, I want to say? And that's a pretty significant amount, especially for, you know, considering how much effort had to go into modeling each individual level. Like... Like, you know, uh, 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 like, uh, like getting an idea down, mapping it out in design, having an in-lore, like, div uh, not necessarily explanation, but like, you know, okay, this is why she's here, uh, you know, potentially having to create new environments or textures or whatever. I don't know. I'm, I'm easily impressed when it comes to these types of games, so... I don't think that's a bad thing either. Like, I genuinely respect and revere what they did here. And even, even if I'm not enjoying it 100% of the time, it is very impressive. I certainly don't think, you know, I could do something of this skill level with as much time and uh, training that they got, so. Cool, that's the other door. Oh, hi, guy. I just realized this is automatic pistol ammo. Whatever. It truly doesn't matter at this point. He even hit me once and I don't care. Just like how Jimmy cracked corn and I don't give a fuck. No, 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 wrong way. Here we go. I do feel like this game is a lot more difficult to play without a guide. I will say that. At least the first game, it felt like I could approximate my general idea of what to do. I mean, sometimes I clearly couldn't. Like, those, like those Egypt levels were rough. But, you know, before that, before that, I was getting kind of... I was going places. Anyways, uh, is this going to take me to the Jade Dragon? I would very much like to get that sooner than later. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is where we want to be going, so... Uh, just trying to make sure there's no falls or drops into broken glass or something. This game's not afraid to pull that shit on me as it's... Oh, come on. Is it... Am I... Am I... Okay, I can't make it. Um... Oh, I can jump over there. Yeah. All right. It is very interesting, too, playing a platformer where, like, making jumps like these have to be really... Not really precise, but a lot more precise than, than you know, we're used to as this, uh, as now as gamers, you know? 
Like, compare it to, like, Mario 64. <laughs> or even something else with tank controls, like Croc. I don't feel like you had to be nearly as precise with jumps in Croc as you did with this game. And it's just... I, I think that's there's something really fascinating about that, just game design-wise. It's like, these are a very, like... These games are a very good case study, if nothing else. But they're also more than that. Hey, am I going the wrong way? Um, I'm gonna drop a save here. I haven't looked at the guide yet. Well, like, in a hot minute. So I'm not sure if I've already missed the Jade Dragon. And if I have, I'll be very sad. But, I don't know. I, I don't know. Hey, look, it's another key. Uh -huh. I bet that one's for the little, uh... I can't see it from here, so I can't point at it. Now I'm sad. But I do bet... I, I bet I already know what door that's for, so... The real question is, what do I do now? Do I just go there? You know what, Stella? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you. Okay, so it looks like we just picked up the storage key. Once you have the key, slide down either side of the hole to the deck. Are you sure? It feels like I might need to fall down to avoid fall damage. Oh, okay. Well. Now what? Uh. There's gonna be two goons with a flamethrower! Excuse me! Excuse the fuck out of me. What are flamethrower guys doing just spawning? That's what I want to know. Where are they up? I don't hear them. <sighs> Whatever. I could fall down in that body of water. Uh, do, 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 do. Now go after swim. Uh, take a running jump from the top of the metal duck to grab the... Okay, so we do just do that. Sorry, I was, I'm just looking for the Jade Dragon. Apparently, I could have just gotten it this whole last time. Okay. I'm sure Stella has a good reason for telling me not to go for it immediately, but... I'm still waiting for the flamethrower guys to exist. And be real. Uh, yeah, so we want to drop down here now. Yeah, so we're just doing what we did again. Cool. Alright, time to running jump with a newfound ferocity. I guess the flamethrower guys were just a liberal myth. That's fine. Uh, so what I want to know is what the fuck am I... So, okay. Now go after secret three. Take a running jump from the top of the metal duct to grab the crevice to the left side of the crate with the broken glass. What do you mean? Can I just grab it? Can I just running jump and grab from here? Sorry, am I being really stupid about this or I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a save. This this is it feels like this is being overhyped. It seems like I could literally just walk over there. Or, I jump over there, then I just walk, and then I can get the, the dragon. Unless there's something I'm missing. Yeah, can't I just, like, get up slowly? Yeah, look at this. See? Why couldn't I have just done that? That was the only way to do it, either. Alright. I don't know why I'm, like, turning around. I was gonna, like, try backstepping for a bit, then I remembered I have to, uh... I have to fall down. Backwards. Oh, there are the flamethrower guys. Okay. Well, fuck it, they sure are flamethrowering. They sure are TM-35. Okay. Okay, well... Since I can just shoot you from here... Yeah, run away, you big pussy.
Okay. Is there an easy way to get down here? Do I have to go through the water again? <sighs> Whatever. Going through the water again I shall, because I guess that is the only way. I mean, it's not the biggest pain in the ass, it's just like, it's 30 seconds of my life I'm never getting back. And neither are you. Oh well. This is going to be a good chance to do the swan dive. Because I haven't done that in a minute. Okay, let's... Swan dive! Hooray! I love being stylish. Alright, is the second flamethrower guy dead or do I have to kill him? Because I didn't see his corpse, but I don't hear him. Can't wait for him to sneak up on me and kill me and I have to redo all this. I'm speaking it into existence, I know, but I have to be ahead of the curve on this one. There he is. Okay, he's dead. Did you drop anything? Did either of you drop anything? That's really what I want to know. Nothing, you stingy bastards. You spoony bards. Okay, you drop something, it looks like. No? Okay, I thought that was like harpoons or something. Well, alright, go to hell and stay there. Alright, storage shed. This is where we've been needing to go this whole damn time. But there's more flamethrower guys, apparently, so again, I'm going to save. If only because now I have the jade dragon, I can just beeline. And, I don't know, it'd be nice to just... I don't know. It would be nice to just have that safety save. Okay. We're almost done. Like, we're on the very last thing. What is this? This... The thing? Uh-huh. Cool. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the end of the level. I mean, I knew we were at the end of the level, but I didn't realize picking that up would be it. Alright, cool. Well, I'm glad I did not try to beat the last level last segment, because I didn't realize I'd have 20 more minutes left. Granted, like, half of it was fucking around, but... That's the fun of the game, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? Alright, this next level sounds terrible, but we've got an FMV to watch. What? Oh, so she just doesn't care. She doesn't care about the bends. I see. Surfacing sickness is not a thing for Lara Croft anymore. Especially not when she's gonna go to a higher altitude in the fucking plane, it looks like. Alright. I mean, most video games don't give a shit about like that type of thing anyway, so I'm being nitpicky. It's not, it's not even a nitpick, I'm being just an asshole. Like, Uncharted doesn't care. The Indiana Jones movies tend to not care, but I haven't seen those in forever. I mean, I don't even think Indiana Jones ever goes under one. Whatever, the point has been made. That water looks really difficultly detailed. Like, I can... That looks like that would have been such a fucking bitch to make animated. In the FMV, I mean. No. I didn't put in a landing gear. Oh, Jesus. Oof. How are you not dying from this? You know, I guess that's how. <laughs> I love how it just, it just blows into fire. I guess, you know, an engine would explode, but... Yeah, so now we're in snow, and apparently there's a snowmobile, which, uh, will, will not be fun to use, I can imagine. Hello. I'm not letting you live, and I hope you know that. 
I don't trust any fucker. I trust no bitch. Anyways, uh, let's make a save now. Just because that was the hardest enemy we've ever fought. Let me get a quick look at how long this level is. Um, it looks fairly long, to be honest. So, actually, it looks it looks about average now that I think about it. Whatever. <sighs> so, this is like the this is the equivalent of what Egypt was in the first game for us, I think. So, yeah. Uh, actually, I need to keep an eye out. When is the first? Uh, Okay, the first, the first dragon, okay, is when we get to the snowmobile. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I wanted to see what that was going to get do for me, but alright. Camera angles abound. Am I dead? Oh. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I thought there was like a hole I was supposed to fall into behind me, and then there wasn't. Uh... Well, let me see if I can figure that out. Like, if I could try to, if I can jump over them, maybe? Maybe you can? I feel like that's possible. Her hitbox certainly squishes up enough if you standing jump, or running jump, I mean. Like this, where, like, maybe it's possible. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you for that. Oh, it shows you that there's the things. Okay. I can't get up here. Can I do this? Wait. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh, I'm brilliant. Oh, and they're floating. I love that for them. Alright. Well, it's always nice to solve a Tomb Raider puzzle without using the guide. Using your own brain. Makes you feel alive. Because Tomb Raider's clearly... Tomb Raider was the first puzzle game. Not Tetris. Not Pong. Not... No, no! I actually survived. Wow. On reaction survived wow maybe I am getting better at this game <laughs> that was sheer dumb luck but I'll take it god imagine like an Iron Man playthrough of this type of game like if you die once you either that's your playthrough or you have to restart from the beginning like oh good Christ I'm sure people have done it it just it sounds like a fucking shit show but, you know, I've done worse, I'm sure, so... Uh, can I shoot that? No. Do I have to hit it with something? Um... I don't think I can... Am, am I supposed to fall into that little cavern area? Can't pull this, can I? Uh... No. Uh... Wait, okay, the guide's telling me I can shatter it. What do you mean? Semi-transparent ice wall that you can shatter with your pistols. I'm I'm clearly aiming. Okay, do I have to aim from here? Well, what the fuck? Okay, can I fall down here or am I dead? This 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 does not look survivable. Yeah. Okay, well, what what do you mean? Because I was shooting at that, and it wasn't... Uh, okay, Stella. When the coast is clear, leave the alcove and head back down the hill. On the right is a semi... Oh! Oh, we don't go this way. Okay. Alright, so the, the semi-transparent ice wall is actually in the, the hill. Okay. You know what? Fair enough. I guess I assumed too much about this being the correct way to go. Silly me. Alright, so where is this ice wall I've heard much ado about? Here we go. Oh, come the fuck on. I still can't... Okay, there we go. 
You have to be like really up close to it. It looks like. All right. Oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. You know what? Why don't you just kill me? This thing is a real son of a bitch. I think what I'll do is I'll shoot the wall, then I'll run back up the hill, and I'll try to see if it follows me. Because if it does, I can just shoot at it from that ledge, and then that'll be that. But if not, then this could be a real pain in the ass, because I can't really jump in there. Uh, yeah. Very dumb nitpick. Where did Lara get these clothes? She wasn't wearing them when she, uh... When she was in the oil rig, when she, like, uh, when she, uh, like, <sighs> I, I don't know. Like, when she stowed away in the, uh, in the plane, she wasn't wearing that. So, like, where, where did these clothes come from? They came from, they came from Who Cares It's a Video Game, I know, but. Oh, so you don't follow me. Oh, so I just gotta go. Okay. Alright, I guess I just gotta use my, my shotgun. Well, we saved it for moments like these, I guess. I mean, I probably could fuck with the AI a bit more to get it to follow me, but that doesn't sound very fun. And I'd rather just use the plentiful ammo I have, because at this point, time is money. And I'm... And I'm... In the red. I, I don't know. All right, third time's the charm, am I right? Okay. Shotgun. Wow, 32 shells, huh? That is way more ammo than I thought we had. Why am I not shooting? Ugh. I would really prefer to redo that without taking damage. I'm entering nitpicky, like, oh, can't take damage anymore phase, and it's... I feel it coming, but, like, come on. He was just, like, not firing at one point. It's like, I want to try to minimize my damage taking. My my damage take this. I, I don't know. Okay. This time for realsies, right, guys? Right? You know, a pistol's only playthrough of this game sounds miserable. I bet people have done it. I bet people have done it. You walk a little, then spawn it. Okay, I used three shells that time, but that's fine. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take out the pistols. And we're gonna put them away. And then we're gonna save. Because I don't want to do that again. I don't care if I use an extra shell. I don't care. With things like these, they're pretty much, like, the specific problem that shotgun shells solve, so. Hey, automatic pistol ammo. Um, what? Is this not the way I'm supposed to go? Is this not where I was even supposed to go the whole fucking time? Oh, okay. So going in the cave was the right way to go. Okay, I'll go fuck myself then. I mean, I guess it's better to, to get that pistol ammo. But I kind of ex So we, what, what was I doing wrong over here? So, okay. Was I just not close enough? Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I can't... I can't aim it. Uh, whatever. Let me... Oh, my God. You can just jump through it? You can just jump through it. How was I to know this? How was I to know that? Uh, also, I don't know where I'm going. Uh, I'm assuming I want to go over there. Let me see. Stella, what do I want to do? Um, run up and jump through the ice. You'll start to slide, so grab the wall head to avoid falling in the deep chasm. There are a number of these ice ladders coming up. You can identify blah, 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 blah. Follow the... T okay, so we do want to go... Traverse until you're over the doorway. Oh, okay, I see. I see now. Okay. I didn't realize I could do that. 
Cool. Well, let's let's celebrate that with a save. And also, I need to split the segment. So let's also do that. So now, let's continue exploring. So far, I don't hate this area. I, I don't like the lack of conveyance with ice walls and shit, but... You know, so far it's been kind of cool. Pun intended. <laughs> Asshole. Come back here so I can murder you. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Where's the other one? There we go. Asshole. This, this is, uh, this leaves something to be desired, I'll put it that way. Did it die? No, it's still here. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so do I just want a running jump? It kind of looks like I do. But at the same time, I feel like I don't. Uh, whatever. Oh, it looks like, uh... Oh, okay, it looks like falling in the water is bad. Because, uh, yeah, so we'd have to climb a huge ladder if we fall in the water, and apparently that's a pain in the ass. Alright. Oh. Why do I, why do I play this game without reading the guide? Why do I even try? Why do I even pretend? Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Two vultures, they may attack right away, blah, 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 blah. There's hidden snowball on the boat, distance you're going that way. Uh, if you fall in the tunnel, blah, 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 blah. Follow the tunnel to a small water-filled hole. Oh, so we are supposed to fall in the water. Well, I've been lied to by you, Stella. Fuck off. You little fuck. Okay, where's the other one? I'm down here. No one likes you, Volaby. Everyone prefers Braviary. It's a sad fact of life that we just accept that Volaby fucking sucks. Actually, it's Mandibuzz that sucks. Volaby's a little cute if you get past the Skull Diaper. Although the Skull Diaper might be what endears it to some people. So really, it's just Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz just looks like generic cartoon vulture. Which maybe that's what they were going for. Uh, hi, icicles. That apparently fall. Why did I say that? <laughs> like, they fall? <laughs> well, let's see what happens. So, are they gonna just instantly destroy my life if I walk past them? They are! Are they gonna be like the swords in the first game where if I walk slowly they won't go down? No, not saved. Uh, shit. No, continue. Uh... But yeah, if they're like the swords, that's fine. I just... The swords, I thought, were like a mythological, like... Rev well, like, they had a, a magical a aspect to them to explain that. If icicles just don't fall on us because we walk slowly, I might need a little bit more convincing on that. I guess you could sell it on, like, you're not making as much vibrations in the ground, but... I guess, to be fair, there's also the consideration of why do vi icicles ever fall on you in the first place, but whatever. I solved my own problem, by the way. Okay. I think the Silver Dragon should be coming up soonish. Soon-ish. Uh, yes, I want to save. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, they're actually, like, modeled. Well, like, they're actually, like, having collision. Okay. Um... Now what? Do I want to go over here? What was the point? Dot com. Okay. So now that I'm up here, do I do something? Or... Because if I could have just gone in the water the whole time, what was the point of that cave? You know? Oh, there's a cave here. Okay. It blended in very well, so I didn't see it. Uh, okay, and then we go here. Cool. Alright, making progress. Uh, do 
I want to go up or down? Decisions, decisions. Uh, I'm thinking we want to go up. What do you think, Stella? Uh, kind of onto the ledge on the left? This isn't the left. Am I skipping ahead? I might be going the wrong way. Let me just let me just figure it out. Oh. All right. Is that the silver dragon? Uh, I think it is. All right. Well. Okay. So I guess let's go down. I'd imagine going. No oh, shit. I meant to. Oh. Okay. I just know fall damage was had. Cool stuff. Can I pull this or push it? No. Alright. Hey, this time, let's be careful for fall damage. Cool. Fall damage. Um. Alright. This looks like the right way to be going. So, if I just get near you, do you fall? Or what's the deal? Do I have to, like, run? Okay, I'm assuming that you're just going to fall the second I get too close. So, let me save. I prefer to avoid the damage I'd get from you. We have to be conservative here. We have to be very, very judicious. We have to be safe and careful. Oh, oh, okay. That was not my definition of safe and careful. I was just trying to... You know, whatever. I'll take it. Why did the air meter appear, by the way? Is it like, is it because it's cold water she gets like constricted lungs? That wouldn't make the least amount of sense. I would actually buy it. It's just, I don't know. That would be uncharacteristically like realistic for this game. You know what I mean? <laughs> that would be uncharacteristically like real, like in terms of like, this is what would happen for a game that just fucking said fuck the bends. <laughs> you know, whatever. I don't think I'll fuck this jump up, but I also don't know if this is where I even want to be going in the first place, so. It certainly feels like where I want to be going, don't get me wrong. This isolated area that I can jump to certainly feels like I want to be here, but who knows. Uh, yeah, what did this do for me? Uh, can I jump over here? Oh, I, actually, I don't know if I can. That doesn't look fairly makeable. Actually, no. Yeah, there's a thing down there. Maybe I jumped to that. It's like a key? What is this? Oh, it's a health pack. Okay, cool. I'm assuming this is where I needed to go, then. I mean, it's a health pack, so... If it's not, I wanted to go here anyway. Uh... No, let me save just because I can. I am completely unsure of where to go from here, though. To get there, take a running jump. After picking up the hill, turn to face the cliff wall and then jump over the snowy ledge ahead on the left. Climb the snow ledges to the top of the canyon. Uh. Okay, so do I climb it from this side? Oh, God! Oh, wow. That somehow worked. <laughs> I thought for sure I was taking a dip. Okay, this is what we do. Cool, and then we're about to get the, the silver dragon. That's nice. Cool stuff. Oh, another one! Motherfucker, try me. Where are you? Come on! For fuck's sake. There we go. I just, they're not even, they don't even do that much damage. I just, the fact that they exist and they can hit me whenever they feel like it, I don't want to deal with it. I really don't. Anyways, I've spoiled myself and right ahead. I'm going to need some automatic pistols for the guys with guns that are going to appear in like five seconds. If I could get up, that'd be nice. If I could get up, that'd be nice. There we go. Hi. Oh, 
Well, you know, these guys certainly didn't fuck around, I gotta admit. I'm feeling like a reset would, uh, would definitely behoove me. Would it behave me, though? What does behoove even mean? It feels like no one ever uses behoove, but they all secretly know what it means. I wonder if I can, like, kind of play peekaboo with them. Since it looks like they weren't the most, uh, aggressive. I probably should just start using my Uzis, to be frank, but... Yeah, they're really not doing shit to me. I guess once I run out of automatic pistol ammo, I'll just start using the Uzis. Yeah, their AI is really dumb. Where'd the other one go? Hello? H Hello? There you are. Okay. Well, first things first, Are you? did you drop any ammo? Oh, you did! You dropped a health pack. You're my favorite. Uh, hello? Uh -huh. There we go. Hey! Ammo! Of some variety. And Silver Dragon? Excuse me. Silver Dragon. Hooray. Uh -huh. I would actually like to know what ammo that was. Uh, oh, that was automatic pistol clips? That did not look like automatic pistol clips to me. But whatever, I'll take your word for it. Alright, so we've reached the snowmobile. We've got about 20 minutes left. Let's see how terrible this thing is. Okay, the cave opening to the right of the hut is blocked by a wooden gate. So... Steal the snowmobile and head to the cave on the other side of the hut. Okay. Meh. Well, it doesn't seem to control poorly. If, if nothing else, that's good. It certainly controls better than the boat felt. The boat didn't even control badly, it's just it felt very tanky. This feels not too bad. This music track's kinda cool too. Am I supposed to be attacking you? Can I just run you over? I can just run you over, wow. Uh, get, get off? Yeah, this music track kind of fucks. Uh -huh. Okay, um... I kind of should probably be paying more attention to where I need to go, so... Um... <laughs> right on to the next open area. Okay, there's gonna be leopards coming up. Can I run them over? I, I hope so. That would save me some difficulty. Well, this definitely looks like the next open area. Jesus. You'd think this thing would be breaking on this, like, gravel. Okay, I think I need to, uh... I think I need to do this. Now, back up. This looks like the ramp in question. Ah, fuck! Yeah, uh, uh, oh! Okay. Okay. Do I have to go back? I cannot tell. I hope this thing doesn't have a health bar. Because it sounds like I've been beating the shit out of it if it does. And I do have to go back, alright. Oh, no, I don't! No, I don't! No! I. Okay. I'm not playing this part particularly well, but I'm assuming that's, that's just the experience. It's a growing pain. God fucking... Okay, I want to make it onto that part first, because it seems like there's something I can do if I land there. You know? Okay, there we go, there we go. Stay, stay. Alright. Okay, I'm going to make a save here, just so that way if I fall off, I can uh, just reference this. That seems like it would be quicker and easier than just redoing that every time. 
it, it looks like that should be just a simple matter of doing like like taking the snowmobile and going off that that ramp but then it's not also that happened <laughs> jesus i'm 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 really hoping this thing does not have like a threshold for damage cuz we are fucked if they are if it does if this thing is not like infinite health we are fucked but Nothing has, has really, like, nothing started smoking, nothing's broken off, so I have no reason to think it's gonna, like, mysteriously break. I mean, the boat never broke, despite how fucking slipshod I was with it. Aw, oh, the music's gone. Oh, well. Oh, I... Oh! <laughs> okay, so it does break? Oh, no! Is it just because I fell from too high? Is that is that it? Is that your replacement for fall damage? Mmm, I'm kind of nervous now. I'm a little nervous about that shit, but whatever. <sighs> okay, let me try falling down. So let me let me try the jump over here, because maybe I have to do something to move that. Okay, let's back up. Let's get as much speed as we can for this one. Okay, I can't make that jump. Well, what what the fuck do I do then? Yeah, I have no idea what this game is asking me to do. All right, well, you know, when I whenever I say those words out loud, that's when my brain starts screaming, "Look at the guide." So let's reload and look at the guide. Oh, uh, two hundred bucks of ice. You have an easier time going. So get off the snowmobile, climb up the snowy ledge from there, jump to the smallest. Blah 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 blah. Oh, so we're not even supposed to bother with the snowmobile right now? Okay. I mean, sure, fuck it. <sighs> okay, let's see what's up here first. I'm assuming we want to go over here? No, this is where the snowmobile... What is the fucking point? Okay, where is the ledge I'm, that Stella is suggesting I need to go to? Supposing, even. Uh, follow the passageway. Climb onto the snowy ledge. Girl, they're all snowy. They're all snowy ledges. Which one? <laughs> what do you mean? They're all snowy ledges. I, I don't know which one you're talking about. Uh... Okay, can I... Okay, if I... Can I jump over... Shit. Okay, let me try this. Can I jump... Can I running jump onto that? No. Can I jump onto the side, though? It looks like I could. If I do this. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, cool. Can I, like, push this block off? Oh, no. Okay. That's cool. <sighs> well, at least this is probably what Stella's referring to. There's apparently leopards that are about to show up anyway, so... Let's keep an eye out for those. You know, I'm, I'm not thinking this is where I want to be going. Not feeling it. Thinking maybe over here is where I was meant to go. No? Oh god, it's come on! They're right by Where did they come from? Oh my god. I was specifically trying to keep an eye out for them. So that way that wouldn't happen. And then lo and behold. Ugh. Oh Tomb Raider 2. You Something about you just puts the wool over my eyes every time. I do want to know where the fuck they came from, though. Like, they're not already spawned, right? Okay, what if I just, like, do this? Yeah. Oh, they can go up there? Oh, they can go up there. So my genius plan of climbing... Okay. 
Alright, I'm not a fan of this game anymore. And I can't even... Oh my god. Alright, I guess the shotgun must save us once again from these evil leopards. Mother of fuck. I guess my question is, did I come in the wrong way? Because it seems like they're triggering when I go... Like, they're triggering behind me from the right when I should be going this way and they should be triggering from the left. But, whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as I'm here, right? It doesn't matter which way I came in. Whatever. Let's kill these fucking lepers. Okay. Simple enough. Okay. So now I'm going to save that. My next question is, do I have to do something where I move those ice blocks? Mm. I can't push them, can I? Oh, I can! Oh, I can pull them. I'm assuming I want to pull them? But that's a long way to pull them. Uh, then move the blocks out of the tunnel and drop... Wait, what? Move the tunnels out of the tunnel opening and drop back down. How far back do I have to move them? What a fantastic question. I would love an answer sometime this decade. Okay, let's just try pulling and see. How far can I go back? Okay, I can't pull them anymore. So, is the idea that I want to push them to the side? I guess so. So, let me do it this way. Let me push this one over here. Then I'll pull the other one back, and then I'll push it to the other side. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I just had an idea. Is there something up here I could grab if I pushed a block in here? No? Okay. That's, that's fine, I guess. Okay. Well... I guess I'll just go back to doing what I said I was going to do. Hooray. And then after this, I'm assuming I just want to get on the snowmobile. And then, uh... And then I should be able to clear this jump now, probably? If that's not what you do, then this, this would all feel pointless and wasteful, so... I'd be very surprised if that is not the next plan of attack. Okay. Go here, push you here. Alright. So now... You do... And suddenly a surprise shotgun guy comes in. Nothing? Alright. I would have let you. I would have let you, Tomb Raider 2. Hmm. Okay, get on. Excuse me. Excuse the fuck out of me. Get on. Okay, fuck. Okay. Let's back up. This one's tricky because you kind of have to, like, arc it to the right. Like that! Oh my god. That should... No, okay, that... Well, it shouldn't have worked, and that's what I get for, for that. Oh my god. This fucking thing. Just, just let me down. Just, 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 just leave me alone. I'm collecting clocks. God. Okay. All right. You know, it, 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 it's not the worst implementation of a vehicle. It's kind of cool and fun to use, but the actual, like, shit you're trying to make me do, not a fan of this. Like... Oh my god. You know, it's better than Final Fantasy XV Snowmobile. The bar is subterranean when I say that, but you know, hey, fuck it. Take your compliments where you can get them. Oh my god, did I just fucking 180? Okay, what if I just try going straight and then figuring it out? Like this. Oh, of course not. That's, that's of course not going to work. Fine. Alright, alright. I made it look so easy the first time, but 
Actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> and I, and I, and I, uh, and I said as much, so. Come on! It's like you have to fucking glitch your way onto that platform. It's like, there's no consistent, like, this is how you do it, this is, these are the controls, like, you kind of just have to, like, fuck up. You have to fuck up on it. Oh my god. Can I just do this? Okay, can I do this? Can I, like... Okay, can I... <sighs> I can't. I'm trying to, like, use those angled blocks to just, like, glitch my way up, but they won't let me. Okay, one more time. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's... No, 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 no. I just want to, like, real quickly get level. Like, parallel. Flush. Then I'll say it. <sighs> God, the snowmobile is simultaneously better and worse than I was expecting. <laughs> but, whatever. It's a nice change of pace, it's just also very shitty, the, st the stuff I'm having to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like... Like... <sighs> Just not crazy about it, okay? Not amused right now. <sighs> At the very least, I'm hoping that this is just a one level thing and it's not like gonna be an ongoing thing I have to give a shit about. That feels like wishful thinking if I've ever heard it, but. Are you for fucking real? Am I still not doing it bad good enough? Okay, Stella, is that not what I'm doing? To, okay, so you reach a cave opening with the snowmobile. Okay. Okay, no, that is what you have to do. Okay. Well, I would love to know why it's not working. Is there, like, a secret fucking overdrive booster I need to be using? God, this is so... Like, you'd think just holding forward would clear this, but... No. Like, I'm holding nothing but the up arrow on my directional pad, and it's not working. Uh... Oh, there is a speed boost? Oh, my God. I actually mean... I was just saying that as a joke, but there is actually a speed boost. Reading Stella's guide. Hold action for a speed boost to clear the gap in the ledge. All right. Well, I'm assuming that is going to be the ticket into this cave opening. I'm hoping. Really? Alright, well, I would not have clocked that as a speed boost if I used it casually, which I probably, like, you know, pressed X the first time I got on it and didn't even notice, but whatever. I'm gonna save here and I'm gonna end the segment because... Yeah. I feel like we've made decent amounts of progress. We're in, we're in new territory, we're in a horrible vehicle, and the world is our oyster. Either way, I will see you next time.